let's go ahead and continue on and uh, go ahead and continue fighting against those like big bosses over here. The good news is, Kirab can now track the location of his eldest layer. The bad news, they're not going to give up the stones without a fight. Well, that's why I want to see. Okay, I think we might have to actually talk to uh, Kirak over here. Judging by the trail of our quarry, I'd wager on a stronghold. There, I've marked it on your atlas. Okay, we're going. Okay, I guess we're going to be fighting the boss. It says socket watchstones here to increase the tiers of maps in this region. Oh. I don't know what happened to the thing that we had before, but it's like not here anymore. I don't think we have it in our inventory. So I have no idea what happened to it. I thought that they were permanent, but we'll go ahead and uh, talk to Zana and uh, go ahead and uh, apply. I'm just go ahead and put a map in here. Let's see. Travel to Baron Citadel. Oh, there we go. All right. So another boss, man. And so uh, updates for like the build as far as like what we've done. Uh, I don't believe we've really done anything minus we have actually just removed Blood Rage from the uh, build here. I, I just feel like the, the attack speed wasn't worth it. Um, we were actually getting kind of melted too fast. But I've been kind of trying to scale life even though I've been trying to make a low life build here. Um, and the reason why I want to do a low life is because it makes it more entertaining, right? But there's a point to where I can't even complete the content. So that that's, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Did I lower the volume of certain things? I might have. Oh! Go ahead and clear out this area and then we'll check the volume. No? We're good, okay. okay we're, we're not uh, running the uh, greater multiple projectiles now. I feel like we're melting things quite fast already. So we don't need it. Hello, squads. How you doing, man? Ooh, nice. Oh. Time to fight the boss. I feel like opening up these rifts are like a really bad idea. Like the abyss monsters. The abyss monsters are super strong. Easy chance to uh, get melted. We're gonna go ahead and pop that uh, explosion real quick. Probably shouldn't be picking up things mid-fight, but sometimes the uh, little abyss takes a while to go ahead and activate. So, oh shoot! Okay, this guy's. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go back because this is a really good deal. So let's go ahead and invite this guy and get rid of those exalted shards that we got. So. Go ahead and trade with this guy. This is the one thing on Path of Exile I think really should be adjusted because it's so, like, not smooth to, like, back out out of a um, an area. Especially since some of the areas, you know, you obviously have limited times to go in, right? But uh, that's just the part of the gameplay mechanics. Oh! Wish there was like a, a, like, instead of it being, like, going to the hideout, it, it should be like they just join your game and uh, they just get the deal. Or you can list it on, like, some type of auction house. So you wouldn't have to be there to accept the trade. Because I think that they want people to, like, kind of play the game, but at the same time, people will sit out their hideout all day and just flip currency anyway. So, like, why not just make it easier for everyone? Or just make the option if you have like two-factor authentication if you're afraid of bots or something. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's just one mechanic in this game that definitely could be improved upon. But I think they want people to see the other player too. Because when you see the other player, you see their microtransactions or skins. Oh, is that Corrupted Blood? <laughs> corrupted Blood is not very fun to uh, play up against. Uh, I don't actually think I have something that removes bleeding. Oh, one thing that should be pretty important to mention for uh, Path of Exiles. Make sure one of these things removes bleeding. Um, I'll actually probably roll that on my... Um, actually, can we do it right now? Okay, we have a couple rolls right here. Let's go ahead and try it right now. So we're going to use the uh, Orb of Alteration. Uh, we're going to try to get removes bleeding. Elemental.
elemental resistances, maximum charges is pretty good. Well, we only want bleed, uh, removes bleeding, but I'm not gonna go back into town and uh, attempt to change it right now. But I should, I should. It probably would be smart because bleeding in Path of Exile can get you melted very, very fast. Especially since like, yeah, usually when you see your HP going really low, you try to like move out of the way, right? Buys nearby dead monsters with onslaught. That chest, okay. So I, I've noticed there's also this mechanic with these little like squares that are on the ground. You don't want to stand inside of them. Standing inside equals bad. But I mean, they're they're pretty easy to see. The only problem that I have is like some of the metamorph uh, mechanics because you literally can't even see sometimes. Like it, the screen is just too dark, simply. Also, I didn't mention this, but I probably should. Uh, you'll notice that there's lots of bots that will spam visit this website to buy stuff. And so all you need to do is just go ahead and, and just um, ignore and then they won't show up anymore. But they always make new accounts because they get banned, but because it's a free-to-play game and they ha there is an all chat. You can just disable the all chat. The all chat is very entertaining sometimes. So I, li I like to keep it on. It's, it's fine. I used to just kind of tune out because they just keep on making newer accounts plus you get to see what people post in the chat They're like hey guys i just got this and you can check out what what the heck it does so i like that it's just an extra form of entertainment while you're maybe like waiting for something to happen when you're trading with someone Coming up to a boss probably pretty soon. There's someone else shooting lightning at me. Let's go ahead and eliminate him. The golem's about to die, so I'm gonna resummon him. China! Woo! There we go. And we got a C map. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and go. Okay. Boss time, boys. Let's go ahead and uh, refresh our golem here. Go ahead and uh, bu buff him up so he's at full HP and uh, fight Baron. How many episodes do we have PoE? Oh, it's like 20-something right now. I don't know off the top of my head, but and it's going to be a long playthrough. This game is not uh, what I would consider easy uh, to do. it. And This league is really hard. Okay, so don't stand in those. Oh, dude, it hit the, uh, oh, okay. roll off the little squares here. I'm gonna go ahead and summon these totems here. The reason why I'm summoning the totems, by the way, is because um, I want there to be more targets on the map for him to potentially aggro, and that helps out a ton with survivability. Right, so like he just slammed on the golem. Golem is, doesn't matter if he dies, obviously. Like, the, the totems that we have don't even really do that much damage at all. It's just for uh, distracting him. You can also use your blink arrow to kind of get away, but... Make sure we keep up our Golem the whole time. This gives us extra life regen. Ooh! That was, was kind of dangerous. We had to use Blink Arrow to get away because that area was kind of like blocked. So we're doing pretty good. We haven't really gotten hit by him. At all. And that's what we want to do. Ooh. Because if we get hit once, it's pretty much game over. Like with the AoE that throws on the ground, we could probably stand in that for like a second. But we have to be very careful. When Look he slams... This guy. Ooh, what did we get? Dude, th that, that new animation of that. Those... Items look so cool. No servant of innocence. We got the new watchstone over here. So I I guess we don't have like the the area, but I, I don't know this mechanic perfectly, but I know you can put them in and it like raises the difficulty of the maps over there. But I thought I had one inserted before, but maybe uh, it's gone. And I, I don't have this little like tower uh, uh, unlocked here. But let's go ahead and um, check out. Let's go ahead and pick that up too. Let's see if there's any that might be like potentially an upgrade here. Because uh, my quiver isn't what I would consider very, very strong. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry, dude. Sorry, sold. The guy's a little bit late. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. We just don't have the the altar here. 
Oh, is this hard, hardcore soft? Oh yeah, dude, we're, we're definitely doing soft core. I, I feel like playing hardcore, um, this league is a very, very bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this little link group. Yeah, this Metamorph League is... I try to still keep it entertaining by playing low life, so I like try to never get hit. But I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen Path of Exile highlights before. And like a lot of times this season, it's not even the player's fault. Like they're just sitting there and they just instantly melt. To what seems like nothing even appears. They're just gone. And I think it's because of the chaos resistance. And I'm running Oscar. Um... And so we have even more negative resistance with Chaos. I might actually try to beef that up because a lot of the metamorphs, um, the mechanic, you just instantly just rip. And I, and I mean like instantly rip. Um, it might be because I'm doing it at such a high difficulty. Ooh, I want to go ahead and bump this up, uh, but I want that additional currency items. I don't want like RNG. I feel like Kalem's going to be really hard, so let's go ahead and not put Kalem's in there. Let's see like how much we can lower it while, while still keeping the, uh, the things that we want. Extra life. Oh, uses flicker strikes. So we can't really like dodge that. Um, I would much rather have certain things that are easier to. Well, this one calls allies. That's not gonna be fun. Life regen. I see that, and I'm like, nope. Okay, so I'll bump something else up. I just don't like dealing with life regen. Oh gosh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. We don't have life regen. Uh, group frenzy on that. That's totally fine, actually. Oh. Uh, these are. Uses monkey toss. You know, I'm not really sure what. Um, Monkey tosses, okay. But the, yeah, the, the metamorph mechanic, it melts people fast. Let's see if we can even do like any damage to this thing. We might just have a lot of energy. The allies have energy shield. Sometimes you just end up making it too hard on yourself. Really this totem here. But I've had these metamorphs so hard that like, it, it is literally it feels like it's impossible to kill them because they just one shot you, right? Totems. Yeah, we're doing pretty good damage against them, though. But the the part that becomes dangerous is when, like, you can't see the ground. Because at any moment... I don't know, these totems. They're just gonna just bombard us with a bunch of stuff. Gotta watch out for all those things, man. Because we're playing relatively low life. I mean, 3k life... At, uh, what, level 83? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, we're doing it for the entertainment value. Making it so, like, I have to dodge pretty much every single thing. Oh, he refilled all his shields. It's halfway down. Oh my gosh, I can't, can't even see. Yeah, actually might be too difficult. <laughs> Okay, we're getting his shields down now. I feel like he's enraging, like the boss is getting like crazy with the amount of things that he's summoning. He's just summoning other bosses, dude. Oh, nice. What did we get? That would only slow me down. A talisman over here. Okay, so what a talisman is is like an amulet. Oh, we got three of them. Some of these can actually be worth quite a bit. I'm actually excited about this uh, heavy belt over here. So we'll clear out the area. Let's go ahead and check out our loot. So we've got uh, some damage, uh, penetrate lightning resistances. I don't know if this is good enough. Sometimes like you'd be surprised what people want and they'll, they just want like one specific thing and they'll re-roll it. I don't know if it's really worth anything. Check out this belt. I don't think this belt has any chance of being good. But sometimes what people do, is they buy items that have like the effect and then they scour them and then they go ahead or um, I think you can scour it. They basically modify the item and they just want the background of the item and sometimes they'll sell for like 1k outsorb. So it's still valuable sometimes just to have the skin if that makes sense. Um, regardless of the item, it's beca just because of this, this skin. Or I guess the background. I know like people like the headhunter with like the uh, background on it too. That's one of the more very pricey items. Let's go ahead and see if this is any good here. So we have extra cold damage, that's great. And then we also have um, some crit trance, increased elemental, that's great. Um, honestly, if it just rolled life, you know, unfortunately it's physical attack that's leeched. Um, the stats are pretty low on the um, 
the resistances. If those were a little bit higher, it had life, maybe. Uh, so I'd say this is probably not going to be worth anything. Hello. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of it. The Talisman, attack and cast speed, extra spell damage, and requires level 56. I don't think this is like good enough. Sometimes, though, again, you'd be surprised what people want. And sometimes, for certain leagues, one thing that's not worth anything it becomes worth a lot. Um, and this one is going to give us increased mana, increased rarity, and elemental damage. Oh, 27% increased max mana. I don't know about that one. Extra chaos damage, all attributes, intelligence, spell damage. Yeah, this one actually has life. A lot of times with, without like having a life modifier, people just don't want it simply. it's Life is really important in this game. I don't know about this one, actually. Oh, you know, this one. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll, I'll look these up. The best thing to do, honestly, if you're not sure, is just to look up items that have within the same, like, uh, attributes. Don't like type in everything. Like thir uh, 13 L intelligence is probably not that uh, important. But uh, things like, you know, the life, the increased armor, maybe the chaos damage, those could be pretty uh, nice to have. But let's go ahead and just, oops. Oh, you can't put this in here? Oh, that's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and just throw in all the currency. Oops. Let's go ahead and go into this. Throw in all the currency so it's not clogging up our inventory. I wish there was one feature that just absorbed everything to really help out the game so you're you're playing the game a lot more but uh all right let's go ahead and continue we've got uh, some new maps also what i want to focus in on is these um what are they called um capture souls poe okay i have to remember what the uh the mechanic is with this so it requires you to have where's the pantheon bonus ah what is the thing called Captured Soul. Divine Vessel, that's what it's called. These are usually one Chaos Orb. Let's go ahead and show off this mechanic because I think it's actually pretty important uh, in the game and I'll, I'll kind of explain it uh, as far as the Pantheon goes because this is very, very important to go ahead and capture the soul. I actually really want to grab this one uh, which lets us uh, become immune to poison damage. So the Divine Vessel is what the item is called. And I'll show you guys exactly uh, what the heck it looks like. Usually they're like one Chaos Orb. Oh, sometimes it can get kind of pricey, I guess. I guess they're going for like four. Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab this. So we need four Chaos Orbs to buy from this guy. I'm just going to message a lot of people. Oh, okay. He responded very, very fast. I was going to say I was going to message a bunch of different people. And because uh, we're going to need to get like at least two to three. Sometimes you swap into uh, one specific thing for a specific boss. Now it will modify the uh, boss and give him extra attack and it gives him bonuses, uh, which is never something that you really want, especially when you're just trying to make it as easy as possible. So the, the the bonus that I want right now is going to be the uh, if I go to the Pantheon, which is what's that? What button was it? <laughs> I just have to. What is it? Okay, it's it's default. I guess I have it set to Y. So um, it's capture the Terror of Infinite uh, Depths or Drifts over here. So we're gonna go ahead and Terror of Infinite Drifts, and um, we're gonna go ahead and find out uh, where it's located. So uh, if you just Google whatever like the boss is, um, you'll find it probably via the Path of Exile wiki. But uh, what you're gonna do is have to go to a Desert Spring map. Oh, that's a Tier 15 map. Okay, it might not need to be tier 15. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to look for it. And now we have to go ahead and get that uh, map. I'm not sure how it works in this specific uh, league, but we'll go ahead and uh, test it out here. So it was, yeah, it was a desert spring. So I'm going to go to Peely Trade, type in desert spring map, and then uh, see how expensive this map is. Okay, so it looks like uh, it is going to be, it's very expensive and we probably will die on it so i'm not gonna try to do it right now but uh what you would do and i should show you the mechanic and i'll eventually do it but i just wanted to mention it um there, there probably will be one that we can actually go ahead and do uh and we'll check it out so avoiding projectiles is pretty good let's go ahead and see actually i should probably do this for you guys really quick and do a no cam but hello hello fa how you doing man um this one's pretty good for bosses. Basically, you're looking at the other captured ones uh, also. So don't look just at the main one. Check out the secondary ones where you're going to have to capture the souls. So as far as stun block recovery, I don't really care too much about that one. Um, as far as this one, additional physical damage reduction for every enemy. This is good if we go ahead and go in on 
huge area, but 10% chance to avoid projectiles, great. And then 5% chance to dodge, that's great. Avoid projectiles that have changed, that can also be great. And then um, over here, we've got physical damage while there's only one nearby enemy. So this is for like bosses, essentially. And we have re reduced elemental damage if you've taken a hit. No extra damage from critical strikes if you've taken a critical strike, although with a crit strike, we'll probably instantly just rip. And then we also have 50% chance to avoid elements from critical strikes. Um, and then over here, we have um, reduced damage from taken over time. 50% uh, inc uh, increased recovery of life and energy shield if you stop taking damage over time recently. Okay. And then reduced effect of shock, shock duration, 25 chaos resistance against damage over time. That could actually be pretty useful uh, because this league actually has a lot of uh, chaos damage. But I think the one that's going to give me the most benefit, honestly, is just that avoid projectiles. That 10% chance is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and look up the capture Ancient Architect. And uh, let's, again, we're just going to Google it. Uh, ancient Architect. I mean, this one I'm going to type in PoE because it's more like, um, I guess, generic in terms of name. So it's a peer map, and that's going to be. Oh, it's it's a it says map level 60. So if it's a tier one map, um, we're just going to go ahead and do that really quick. So let me go ahead and go once again on PoE trade. I'm going to go ahead and swap back to my uh, cam overlay. So peer map. I'm pretty sure we might actually have one. Peer map. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and go back into the hideout. Yeah, the pure map is actually very low tier, so this one should be very easy. So go to maps, uh, look up the pure map. You might not have this access to this thing because this is thing you definitely gotta buy. Uh, but let's see, and you usually don't want the mo uh, the boss to have like extra modifiers, but let's go ahead and uh, throw this in. So this one makes it so we have point blank, and point blank is a passive over here. They make it so projectiles deal more damage against uh, at the start of their movement, dealing less damage as projectiles travel farther, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and check it out. So monster skills chain additional times, but we can also get that thing where we make it so the chain doesn't do any damage. So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, can we not go in with this one? Oh, it might require a very specific thing. Ah, oh, gosh, what is it? I wonder why we can't just activate... Oh, now we can. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go in. Go on in. Oh, you just saw the Star Wars movie? How was it? Did you like it? I hear kind of mixed things. Some people really didn't like it. Some people really like it. I heard there's a lot of like really cool action in it. That was my complaint with like a lot of uh, movies. It's like there's not enough action. Like honestly, I just I don't really care about the lore at this point in, in Star Wars. <laughs> I, I just want to see really cool action sequences, um, but they're uh, they're also keeping it what PG thirteen or PG, so I, I would really like to see like a dark side of Star Wars, like the Force Unleashed. Like I thought that was really cool. Good. And I, I would like to have a rated M Star Wars, but Disney Disney won't do that. Uh, Hello, Voodoo. Um, so I, I don't want to play the meta. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I feel like I shot is pretty pretty legit. Are you talking about like Death's Opus? I feel like that's a very sought after bow. I like the eye shot though, to be honest. Um, the only downside is it's a little bit more squishy because what's this? It's like Twenty orbs of fusing. That's a pretty nice one. If you can get that. But usually I'll end up just selling off the divination cards because you, you don't have to have a full stack to sell them you can sell just uh, a few let's go ahead and find another one of those bosses I, I really like those boss fights the area that you fight them in is pretty cool the last one they fought was actually i would have considered that pretty easy to be honest but there's certain phases of, of a boss where you can't attack them too so um, honestly, I know it sounds like kind of dumb, but like I a lot of times I would run certain like things to summon skeletons And that really helps out because you can just like even though like they die in one hit it's Not only the opponent attacking that unit But it also makes them look in that direction like of where they're looking at So sometimes you can use that to your advantage because you know that they're not gonna be targeting you if that makes sense So you can sit there and just melt melt everyone We're just 
just really interested in the boss fight, to be honest. I mean, this is a pretty low level map, so we probably won't get too much loot from it, but. And we'll probably perma freeze the boss. Uh, that was all 100% luck, luck and RNG right there, man. With the, uh, that mechanic of how I just basically avoided all the spikes. I do that all the time, though. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot. We were talking about the flask earlier, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and make a flask that removes bleeding. Because corrupted blood, and just bleeding in general, just will melt you. And we go ahead, and we got that. And... And after we defeat the boss, this is actually something pretty important. Don't forget about that. Going back. Actually, we'll, we'll do this now because I, I, I might forget about it. So at the map device, once you've completed it, you'll see that we've captured the soul. We can go ahead and now go to uh, Sin, which is going to be an Oriath. I don't know if you can have him in your hideout. You can actually put a lot of different things in your hideout, which is something I, I should show you guys also. So you'll see now... We just go ahead and take to sin, and now we have that 10% chance to avoid projectiles. The 5% dodge is also something I want, so I'll probably go ahead and eliminate him and uh, avoid the projectiles that have changed because that makes it so all those um, things that were, it'll like modify the map, sometimes they don't even affect you at all. This one's really important though. I really feel like I want that one bad, but it's a very high tier map. So let, let's go ahead and go back, and uh, like I was talking about before, we're, we're gonna go ahead and try to use this orbs of alteration. Can't see why I'd want and we're gonna go ahead and try to roll and try to not get, um, we're gonna get some, some type of avoid bleed uh, is ideally what we want. Uh, removes burning, um, and I'm immune to ignite anyways. Uh, so this one, uh, immune to poison. Okay, here we go. One charge when you hit by enemy. I'm not a fan of that. I really just want that removed bleeding, so I'm okay with this. I'm not going to go ahead and invest lots of currency into this, um, but it is something that is quite important to go ahead and make sure we get. So uh, You don't have to have it on this. By the way, there's a lot of other things that you can have it on, but I'm just going to go ahead and have it on this. Um, I don't know if this item is worth anything, so once again, we're going to go ahead and check out if the item is worth something. Via just going over to PUE Trade and typing in the item name Sabron. Sometimes though, like, don't always think that the, if the item is worth nothing, which this one's probably worth nothing. Um, sometimes, specifically, the rolls on the increased like damage, like they're looking for a very specific thing. It's more for magic find. If you roll certain like high numbers, like people will buy the certain items. But this one, I I don't have any points of using. Um, but also looking at the links, even like a, a five link can actually be worth uh, quite a bit sometimes if it's the right item. Oh, you're talking about summoner builds that everyone's playing. Oh, okay. Um, Bow is very popular this patch um, because of the new buffs, but uh, summoner is very safe for the most part. And I think a lot of people like running builds that are super tanky. I don't know. For me, like, I've, I've always enjoyed playing the game where there's a little bit of a risk factor. And I'm not doing this just for a massive amount of DPS because I want to see most of the stuff with the exception of bosses in Path of Exile. Yeah, you can one shot with relative ease with decent gear, but uh, it really comes down to uh, just I like the risk factor of not being super tanky. It makes it more exciting to me. So I'll go ahead and actually clean out this map real fast, and then we'll, we'll see if we can do another. What are we at? Twenty eight minutes? Yeah, we can do maybe another boss for this part of a playthrough, or I can show you guys some other newer things if we don't have that active. I think we cleared it out oh, most of it. But like I said, you want to try to make it so it says under 50, but this is a, a tier one map, so like the amount of loot that we'll get and the XP is just going to be significantly lower here. So basically just cleared out most of the stuff. Let's go ahead and summon this. Make it as hard as possible because it's a low map anyways. Unless there's something specifically that can make it more difficult. Let's get a bunch of these. And let's see, we'll melt this guy very fast. I can probably sit in here. Oh, maybe not with all the uh so when the ground gets black i get a little bit worried because there's these little like explosions that can happen and i, I i'll die in one hit to those a lot of people die in one hit what the heck is that guy he was just my mana is gone he was just immune to being like hit at all a blessed orb it's actually one of my favorite types of items in the game because they're very cheap too and what it does is it re-rolls we good um yeah, it re-rolls the implicit, so that would be like where it says um, 20, uh, 26 to, or it says 26, but um, it can roll anywhere from uh, 20 to 30. And also, I t probably didn't explain this, if you hold Alt, just like in, I think it's in Diablo as a control, you can see the different uh, rolls uh, where they can be on the item, so it's quite nice. But uh, I guess we completed that, so let's go and go back to town and uh, maybe fight another one of those, like, uh, bosses. I think it's just 
really cool to fight those bosses. So let's go and see if we can talk. Um, the Elder Slayers. Oh, let's just talk about it. Oh, so you can purchase decorations. I forgot. Okay, so we have this thing called Favor, and you can just purchase these, like, items. Um, I usually don't like any of these, to be honest. I feel like they just kind of get in the way. And when people visit your hideout when you're trading, they're just literally in, in the way. Although, we have a lot. Let's go and get one. Uh, let's see. I, I like that statue. Get demonetized real fast, though. But you can kind of customize. <laughs> I can put dead soldier piles. Um, you can do a lot of things. A golden chest. But these are just cosmetic. I don't really think that there's anything that really does anything, um, to my knowledge. But uh, let's go ahead and just get one. Let's go ahead and get uh, Katarina. So go ahead and buy the decoration and uh, use one of them. Oh, we can put Helena over here. Good luck with your maps. Oh, you can like you can rotate them too. Let's go and put her over here. Um, okay, let's go rotate her so she's facing us. Uh, make it uh, a grid. Oh, no, we already have Navali. Uh, this one you definitely want is on. Uh, let's go ahead and also put um, perhaps June. Uh, where's the one that we just got? Oh, there's Utility Dell. Okay, Forsaken Masters. Put the, this one over here. So how do I draw? Oh, I guess you click on the outer ring to go ahead and change the position of it. And it's just kind of something kind of cool. I don't know what else you can do with it. Can we talk to her? Oh, how do we get out of the editing? Okay, there we go. I don't think we can do anything with it. It's just, it's just for looks. Okay. Anyways, I guess we do. We have quests for her. Right. Oh, we got the crafting right. bench. I've oh, but the crafting bench is, uh, crafting bench is over there. Okay. Anyways, I don't know if we have uh, anything. I think we just have to do more maps uh, for the next like boss Good to kind of appear um, within that uh, region. Let's go and also throw this on before I forget. Was it uh, G for Atlas? Okay. Let's go ahead and sock. Oh, wait, what the heck? So c can you put in two reds? I don't think you can. But we can put this one like maybe over here or something. Whenever we're doing like a map, I'll go ahead and put um, one of them over there. Uh, when I like mouse over, like for example, if I'm doing this one over here, if I go ahead and put that one in, I'm kind of curious how it works. So it's a tier one and it goes to tier four. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And it counts it as completed already. Oh, that's interesting. All right, there's probably a lot more mechanics and I probably don't understand everything fully, so I don't want to give you guys wrong info. But one thing I do want to show you guys, which is really great for actually farming, is going to be, um, oh wait, there's a laboratory for Tame? Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know about this. Welcome, Exile. Oh, this is probably where you can go ahead and go down and summon those bosses uh, via, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but what I do want to show you that's actually very valuable is the mines. There are so many people that will pay so much for the fossils. Um, so we'll do a few of these. I think that'll be a good wrap up for this since we don't have a quest line to kill one of the bosses, which next time uh, we'll, we'll also uh, kind of go ahead and do. So we'll go ahead and uh, see if we have any uh, of the Azurite so we can go ahead and upgrade our sulfur capacity. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna put one point into that. And we'll go ahead and what I love with how they've changed this is as you level up, they'll let you basically battle at somewhat of your level um, in the mine. I know we didn't do that much of the mines. I showed a little bit of it, but what I like to do is do all of the things that have uh, currency. Ooh, this one over here. Is that, is that not exalt? Okay, I think that's currency. So let's go ahead and do this one and it'll cost sulfite. So you see we have 500 over here and I'll go ahead and click on it. We really haven't gotten any maps that have uh, the sulfite. So we'll go ahead and move over here to start. Oops. And where the heck is the little cart going? Okay, there, there it goes. And uh, like I mentioned before, you actually want to go ahead of the cart um, if you want it to move faster. And you can usually just view the little mini-map in the top right to kind of guess where the cart is going. But uh, you don't want to be outside of the light. Unless you like are trying to do something very specific, like placing the, uh, the little, um, what do they call flares down on the ground. And we really need to upgrade the uh, light radius of the little cart because this is one area where light radius actually is kind of uh, valuable. Because you want to see what you're able to, to hit, right? You're playing melee skills, but it's dead this season? Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, I mean, people still play Cyclone regardless. And now we're going to go ahead. But that was it for the currency? I feel like we didn't get anything. Sometimes there's certain things you got to click on to open, but I didn't see anything. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, we got something. 
we don't have any of the flares here. So we're just gonna have to pop our heal and go real fast and hope hope we don't RIP. There's probably extra ones here. Sometimes you just gotta, oh, there's a chaos orb over there. All right, hold on. Let me regen. I'll go ahead and pick that up. <laughs> uh, I wanna go ahead and go back to the mine encampment now and see if we have enough to upgrade our light radius. We can get flares, they only cost five. We only have 10 points over here. Uh, oh, light radius, okay, our light radius is really bad. We need to get more azurite. You get that by just kind of playing. I'm gonna craft one flare, which is terrible. <laughs> yeah, that we'll, actually, no, we can get two, right? Okay, there we go. And, oh, we have another quest to craft diamond. That lets you explode balls. You kind of really need to know what you're doing. And honestly, I don't know this mechanic very, very well. But I just basically look at where there is going to be currency and I kind of go ahead and do those. But sometimes you can't like just keep click on the currency ones. Um, also, as we go up, you'll see that the, the level of the uh, area is going to be lower. Uh, but I just basically want to go ahead and do the currency ones. So if there isn't any, you kind of just got to go path to the next area and just kind of go downwards. Uh, and Azurite is the currency that we want. So we can go ahead and just do this one because I want to show off the mechanic uh, of the Azurite. So make sure you go ahead and uh, grab those. They're like these little blue um, crystals that you'll be picking up. I definitely need to uh, upgrade the light radius of our little uh, card here. Little to be crawling around these parts, huh? Yeah, Subpar, thank you so yeah, much for the right host. For Appreciate it. Hello, Sire. How are you doing, man? You happy about playing Pee Wee? Nice. I mean, I'm happy to be on this game too. I, I really enjoy this uh, this league mechanic. They updated that auto pickup so fast. Like GGG is. It, I feel like they're such a great company. Like in terms of like. Being able to react really fast to uh, some of the changes, but I, I feel like I would love to help them with their item shop. I feel like their item shop it needs a rework. Like you should be able to select when you go in the shop. Like I want to just select back attachments. I just want to select helmets, um, and they're all categorized into like uh, much more like I would say. Fr I think the cost is also too high. I mean that's kind of subjective, right? Oh, we're also unlocking this thing for crafting the socket color, so it's you can get one or two colors of a certain element uh, or element uh, color, and it's very very helpful. Hi, Sedra. Have a good stream. Oh, thank you, man. If you're if you're peacing out, have a good one too, man. I appreciate the host. Hope you had a good stream, man. Hope you didn't rip to the metamorph. <laughs> I've been ripping to it really hard, so you just go ahead and walk and you know, go ahead. And, oh, we got. An, oh, nice. The, the, this this. Uh, delve mechanic is, is what it was called because this was a, uh, a separate league. It's honestly one of the one of the best. But like I said, don't feel afraid to go ahead and kind of go a little bit farther past. But watch your HP. Um, it's very easy to go ahead and rip. Now that we have more Zorite, I want to upgrade the. Uh, so now we have 98. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade the radius over here. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and go down. We'll go ahead and ex expend uh, all of our resources so we can kind of go ahead and check it out. Hey, what's up, man? You just started and you need free items. Okay, well, I might have some other uniques that I'm not using anymore. Uh, what class are you playing? And uh, I'm always here to help you guys out if you guys need some items. Because, uh, I mean, some of the items that I pick up, I'm not going to use. Some of the uniques, like, they're, they're very helpful for lower levels, for sure. And I usually keep stuff for, like, lower levels uh, for friends. And, like, sometimes if I want to reroll something. Bane Occultus. Okay, are you doing, Bane, doing, like, Bane Pop? I think I have Axiom for like early early game if you want that. Oh, you're, you're level 75. Okay, I can't help you for 75. Um, the most part. But I thought you meant like lower leveling items. I feel like if you're 75, you should be good off. Oh, you need Exalted. Yeah, dude, let me just go and hook you up with a bunch of Exalted. No problem, man. What do you need? A Headhunter? Yeah, I just... <laughs> I think there was something I could click on over there. But now with these flares, I can show you guys the flare mechanic. Ooh, that just popped a bunch of them. But I don't even feel like I need these greater multiple projectiles now. Because, like, in Delve, most of the areas are very narrow. So this is 
crafting recipe, we'll go ahead and go outside and grab it, grab it. So, I'll show you the crafting mechanic too, a little bit here, and show you guys kind of how it works. I don't honestly craft, like, weapons from scratch, for the most part. It's just, most of the time not worth it, unless you really know what you're doing, or you're so rich that you just want to have fun, honestly. Like, and you just, you just roll stuff and you RNG. This area is a lot lower, what is it, 67? Okay. So you can see, like, as the area is, like, super low, although we're still pretty squishy, it's pretty easy to clear out the content. Okay. Gosh, look at all these items. Woo! Oh, I guess I accidentally hit... Wait, did I? I don't think I used my mind. Sometimes, like, there's just so many items that you can't even see that there's an enemy left over. Uh, can we actually hold this? I can. Do I have any decent amulets? Uh, I mean, not ones that I like. I mean, I'm using the only one. I don't think I have any in my shop. We ha we do have a filter applied. It's just, I guess, the threshold is not... Uh... See ya. <laughs> Let's go and grab that. So, uh, how you grab some of those items is that actually... Really slow me down. Is this good? I don't roll caster modifiers. I don't think I have a, one of those flares. So let's go ahead and go back to the mine and here. All right, so uh, we got 174. What's my character's name? Oh, it's right here if you'd like to see it. Um, oh, we actually can't move over there. So you see certain areas will cost more to go ahead and move towards. I'm going to see if there's any currency ones that are, like, nearby that we can go ahead and just go to real quick. Uh, I don't really want the chest. I literally only want the uh, currency. There's really none off this path over here. That's unlucky. Because it's not really worth it, at least for me. Um, but, uh, anyways, that's kind of the, the mechanic of uh, the uh, the mines or delve. And what we're going to do now is go back into town and I'll show you kind of, like, the crafting mechanic in the game. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can go to the hideout, and then we'll go to the crafting bench and kind of show off how it works. So, the the useful thing that I like with the crafting bench, let me go ahead and no cam this so it's easy for you guys to see. And the thing that I like is this socket system over here, um, where you can change the colors of certain things. It is kind of pricey, um, as you'll see. So you can roll off certain things, and that'll tell you what it's going to be rolling off. So that there's like, well, this one, do we have at least like a yellow item? Let's do this. So you'll see if you hold alt, you can see where it says implicit, prefix, crafted, suffix, modifiers, and all that. Um, but uh, each one of these categories has like prefix, suffix, and then um, you can remove the crafted mods, which I don't want to do. But you can see all these other ones. And how you unlock them, um, if you just Google how to unlock it, it will tell you. There's other, there's another, I thought there was another way that would tell you. Oh, wait, hold on. It tells you, yeah. Okay, so the temple of whatever, and then, or or this. So there's multiple ways, I guess, to unlock them. And yeah, you'll just go ahead and you need to just kind of play the game, or you can see exactly where you need to go ahead and go to unlock those things. Or you can just find it online. It's probably easier just to go ahead and do that. But the thing that I like it for is the sockets. Uh, now, unfortunately, on this one, um, it's not going to offer that, but you can see what I'm talking about with all the uh, prefixes and things that you can modify. It's not free, though. It costs whatever it says right here. So uh, be on the lookout for that. So, the next thing I want to show off, which is one of the things that I use this for, and I think it's this one, I think a lot of people will use it for. So, if I wanted to get certain colors, um, since this one rolled armor and e evasion over here, it's that's going to mean it has higher chance for armor, uh, which will be red, and evasion, which will be green sockets. That's generally how items go. But if I want to go ahead and get uh, certain other sockets, I will go ahead and select whatever and I will craft it. Now, some of these are in RNG and you can see the price of them. So to get two red sockets out of this one, it's going to cost 25. But uh, for one green, it's going to cost this. And the one that would be off would be technically blue, but it's still very cheap to go ahead and um, get it. So if you're looking to craft a very specific color, it can be cheaper 
uh, to just use this. Obviously, if you have really good luck, just go ahead and go for some RNG and uh, have some fun with it. But um, there's different crafting modifiers for different things, and you can go ahead and just click over here. And it'll tell you the different modifiers that you can roll. There's just so much content to cover, and I'll probably update you guys with another... Um, showcase of this uh, for our playthrough here, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably just call it for this part of our PoE playthrough and like explanation of certain things. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next uh, part of our PoE playthrough very soon. But thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.